At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Mane. It is a decent looking attack here. Corner coming up. Who can they pick out? Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Sterling. Phil Foden now. Grealish. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Foden. Must be. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Over it comes. Well, it still could be dangerous. And problem solved for now. Well, that's a super ball over the top. A sloppy pass. Ruben Diaz. Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish Bernardo Silva Grealish Bernardo Silva and now Rodri no way through Rodri plenty of options it's Bernardo Silva well he read that brilliantly at the back Fabinho here is Thiago. Andrew Robertson. Yeah. 
Jota. Here's Salah. Top class defending. Joao Cancelo. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Silva. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Laporte. The ball with Rodri. Joao Cancelo. Rodri. De Bruyne now. Kevin Do, 30 minutes left for play in this one. Fabinho. Thiago. Mane. Thiago. Here's Salah. Can he put them in front? A really top notch piece of defending. Breaking at pace. Beautifully weighted ball. Liverpool have the ball once more. Diogo Jota. It's with Fabinho. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. 20 minutes to go in this one. Jack Grealish De Bruyne now and return to De Bruyne using his strength to shield the ball and showing fine vision perfectly fair tackle and it will be a corner and with play stop they will make the change now Number six, Thiago, coming onto the pitch. Number seven, James Milner, substitution for Manchester City, coming off the pitch. Number ten, Jack Grealish, to no place there. Can someone get on the end of this? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Milner. Diogo Jota. Mane. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Alexander Arnold couldn't keep the ball. Well, these Liverpool fans believe there's still one more chance coming their way to win this game. If they can take it, this place will go wild. And time is of the essence. Corner awarded to Manchester City. And a substitution in the offing. Number 14, Jordan Henderson, to be replaced by number 15, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Over it comes. Great save to keep it even. Well, it's a fantastic stop and so important at this stage of the game. So the corner played into the box. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Well, not great from the keeper. And Foxing the defender. Sterling. 
Might be able to get in behind the defence. Milner. Here's Oxley chamberlain Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Milner robbed of it. Rodri. De Bruyne now. Sterling. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. So back in business here, the first period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Diogo Jota. Sadio Mane now. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And return to Oxlade Chamberlain. Milner. Alexander Arnold. This is Salah. Andrew Robertson. And Mohamed Salah now. Has someone to play it to. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And played through by Sterling. How can he take them on and beat them? And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Riyad Mahrez. The ball with Rodri. Fernandinho. And back with Gundogan. Must take the lead here. It's opened up for him. Could be. Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, here it is again. The build-up is so patient. They're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Sterling. Well, the clock shows five minutes left on the second period of extra time, and still they lead by one goal. A really top-notch piece of defending. Milner, Liverpool continue to attack with time against them here. And let's give credit to the defending. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Salah. Nicely timed tackle. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. 
real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time.